ít đi Ok, parfait Faut mettre en... Hello, good evening, welcome to the Armchair Detective family. Suffice to say, today is the 10th, I'm celebrating uh, Hater on Hater channels are now illegal. And they do cartoons of me in underpants. Yeah, cartoons of me in underpants. I think it's funny. I'm a senior, I'm over 60, it's illegal. Anybody making hate channels on a consistent basis about me will be closed, which is great news. People know exactly yeah. what kind of guy he is. Um, I never thought that collectively we would even like take down his channel. I wanted to see him demonetized. We did. He's demonetized. I, I that was see success to me. Yeah, it, that it's was a big win. I mean, shit. Yeah, Hell. I liked it. it, it you know, how, how much longer could he possibly milk this case, though? I mean, I, I, I don't think it's uh, the documentary. His... Definitely brought up some interest uh, again. But not, not, not enough to save his ass. He was already on a sinking ship. Well, anyway. We were keeping quiet about the appeal because we didn't want the other side to know that there's going to be an appeal. And it's come out now, and I must say, because we said it on Patreon last night, we have been helping organise an appeal for months. Yeah. Now, you have to understand I know more than you. I must do, because I spent thousands of hours on it, right? And when I tell you other people were there that night, I'm not joking, because I don't feel Chris Watts acted alone, you see. I don't believe he acted alone. I don't know where she got it from, how she got it, or why and wherefore. I do really, I know everything, but I'm not going to say. So who recorded the call? How did it get to Jay for Justice? How did it get online? I do know today Anna has said... It wasn't me, and that's backed up by a friend of the show, Shannon, who, you know, thought it might have been her, but it wasn't. The gal Shannon with the letters, she's been on my channel a few times in the comments. She's horribly okay. embarrassed. She's terribly embarrassed. She said, you know, yeah. he's he's a joke. Um, uh, you know, she was just like hand over a face icon, emoji, whatever. Um, you know, so he, he, you know, he played everybody with the CW letters or whatever. So when I say these things, I'm not making up a stupid conspiracy. Which, in my opinion, involves other people. I know other people were involved. I know. It is complicated because you know and I know that I'm in contact with the Watts. So... When I say these things, I'm not making up a stupid conspiracy. I'm telling you there's a red car there. I'm telling you there's tire tracks at the back. I'm telling you that Chris said they removed people from the back. He said that himself. I'm telling you the girls were alive. I'm telling you nobody died in the house. I'm telling you his truck was not a crime scene. Nobody died in the truck. Otherwise, the truck would have been gone into mothballs and kept for a trial. They gave it back to Indarco. So, do you honestly think that I might just know something? But for a year now, I said I can't say anything. Now, at last, I feel relieved off my back. I'm vindicated. We're going to um, see it here live. We've got permission from the owners of the site, Revelation of Recklin. We will be working with them on this. Uh, we want to get the get the film out to as many people as possible. What's in it? Well, I've only got a brief outline. Without any further ado, we'll get it on. We have we have it. Okay. Take a seat.
Stay tuned. We'll talk to you guys soon. I didn't see any proof. I saw opinion. I was hoping to see proof. I saw opinion. I knew a bit about the video. I didn't know. I didn't know who was going to get the blame. I, I was quite surprised. It was too graphic for YouTube. I, that's my. Uh, uh, I, I I stand by that. I think it's too graphic. I didn't want to show. I did not want to show that bit about the autopsies. Um, some of you might have met Megan earlier on. Some of you might not. Megan spent 20 years working in a correctional facility as a nurse. She also has experience of autopsies as an armchair detective like me. I uh, brought her in tonight because we want to look at the autopsies that were sealed and see if we can get any new information from that. Yeah, I have. Um, Sandra sent them to me. Sandra is Dr. B's sister, isn't it? Yeah, she's wonderful. They're both great. It was as surprised to me as it was to you. I I, I was expecting um somebody else to be blamed to be honest <laughs> i was expecting uh, an accomplice theory that's what i was expecting i mean i don't know i don't know the lady Ten o'clock tonight, patron. I've got to, I've got to watch this again and digest the information. I'm open for a private conversation about this. I want to reach out to both families, ask if they can direct me, contact them directly. If anybody knows the family, either family. Pass them my email. You know and I know that I'm in contact with the Watts. If any of the two families involved want to contact me privately, then they can do via this email address in the chat. Can my spanners please put up my email address in the chat? So this isn't the first time I've tried reaching out, but what can I do?
what will I know? I'm just a conspiracy theorist. <laughs>